Welcome back, internet friends. It has been exactly two years since I quit smoking cigarettes, and I've saved about $3,800 according to my app that's tracking it, and I would never go back. So today I just wanna reflect on the time that I've quit smoking, how I feel about cigarettes now, and maybe some encouragement if you're smoking cigarettes or if you know someone who still is, maybe this can help them quit. Now, according to my app, I have saved, yes, $3,800 by quitting smoking the last two years. That means I was probably spending close to $2,000 a year, and I smoked for 11 years. My estimates are that I smoked close to $22,000 worth of cigarettes, which is insane. I can't imagine what my life would have been like in my 20s had I had an additional $22,000. That would have been a new car, a college degree, could have traveled all over the world, but I smoked that money. I burned $2,000 a year. When I would be traveling, I remember being low on money and I would have to be careful about what I bought for food, yet somehow I would be buying cigarettes in the third world countries. And I would buy like horrible cigarettes in Mexico or Thailand or Argentina. The quality was so bad compared to ours, but I just needed cigarettes anyway. I would use my limited funds and smoke so stupid. I was damaging my body, wasting money. The app also says that I would have smoked about 9,000 cigarettes over this time, which also irks me because, yeah, that's a lot of cigarettes going into my body, but I have a lot of remorse about smoking because 9,000 cigarettes in two years, that's a lot of trash. 4,500 butts a year were going into the world as waste, like either a trash can, an ashtray, or God forbid, I know other people who smoke cigarettes did this, you flicked it out a window, or it ended up in a gutter, or a freaking beach. I feel so horrible about every damn cigarette I have flicked away when I was a smoker. And when the app shows me it was 4,500 a year, I always tried to throw it in an ashtray or in a trash can later as a smoker, but in my early 20s, I was like a stupid, stupid college kid. Just throwing, I feel terrible like 50,000 cigarette butts ended out just wasted in the world because of me. So that's how I feel after two years of not smoking. I feel like crap. Just, I feel great health-wise, but when I look back at what I did, I feel horrible and wish I'd never smoked ever to begin with. So if you're smoking out there, I want you to know that you are wasting so much money and you are really kind of polluting the world and messing the world up. Anytime you see one of those pictures with a fish, that has a cigarette butt like shoved up in its nose and it's dead. That could have been your cigarette butt. Now, on the positive side, I have received a bunch of health benefits from quitting smoking. I feel great other than having some remorse and regret for the person I used to be as a smoker. On top of all the other health benefits that you experience within the first few months and year of quitting smoking, additionally, I have significantly reduced my chance of getting lung cancer. And by staying on the quitter's path, about 20% of my precancerous cells have been replaced. And I'm inching my way 14% closer to having the same chance of heart attack that somebody who never smoked would. Speaking of people who never smoked, I wish that was me at this point. I did a lot of things that I'm not really proud of when I was a smoker, and I didn't even realize it. I did terrible things now that I think about it. Stupid, stupid things. Besides wasting money, besides flicking cigarette butts into the waste of the world or anywhere. I know for sure I smoked around people I shouldn't have. I just have so much remorse for the things I did. I had a relative that I loved so much and they had cancer and I was like used to staying in my own house where, I can't even say it dude. After my rent increased and one of my relatives died, I ended up moving in with my grandma and my grandma had different types of cancers, not lung or cigarette related, but she was in her 80s and afflicted by some cancers. And when I lived in my place, I used to have a fan in the window that sucked all the air out and I would smoke right by the fan and it would suck all the air out. And I thought that was okay, like in my own house. And one, I was staying in their back house, like, you know, and I did that there. Like, I regret that so much because I was staying in someone's house that I love and respect more than anyone in the world. And I let the demon on my back have control of me and I smoked in their house. 
Like I smoked in their house. Yeah, it was next to a fan sucking the air out and I was blowing it into the fan. I tried to be discreet. It was like cold and raining. I didn't want to go outside. No excuse, no excuse. I have to live with that. I have to go the rest of my life and try to forgive myself because when one of my family members was in their last days, I chose to smoke a cigarette in their house more than once. I thought I was being smooth by doing it by the fan, but uh, another family member like noticed the after smell of cigarettes once and just pour me a new one. And I can't believe I did that in the first place. I wish I could be there and rip the cigarette butts out of my hand. But at the time I was stressed and, and stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say there's no excuse and that I was super stupid. I'm gonna have to apologize to her in heaven when I get up there and I see her. But it's things like that you do that you don't realize. Yeah, you do stupid stuff when you're smoking, like you may burn the hood of your car while you're driving, or you may take a deep hit of a cigarette while you're driving into the wind and like the smoke goes into your eye and like burns your eye for a second. That's dumb stuff, but things you can never take back. Like I smoked in a relative's house, man. That was stupid. The other things I can't take back, I can't take back what I did to my health. I can't take back what I did to my body. As it is right now, I have done a complete 180 with my health, not just with cigarettes. That was a vice I kicked two years ago, but now with food and quitting sugar as well and trying to eat and live a healthy lifestyle, but I can't undo those 10 years of smoking. Now, I go to see the doctor and in the back of my mind, I'm concerned, did I do permanent damage? When I get sick because it's cold out or if I have some kind of weird flu, sometimes I've eaten things where my lymph nodes swell right here. I worry, what if it's lymphatic cancer? What if it's cancer of the lymph nodes? I had a friend, Tiffany, this, this was Tiffany's name tag. She used to work for my dad, okay? I had this friend, Tiffany, who was the sweetest, most amazing person, and she smoked Marlboros. Guess what? 48 years old, has lymphatic cancer, <sighs> breast cancer, all these things. She didn't make it to like 50. She died in her 40s. Now, I've had a friend, you know, we've been at the bar, and the guy's joked before. He lights up a cigarette, and I've told him like, hey man, you don't even really smoke. Why are you doing that? You know, don't be a casual smoker. That's stupid. That's, that's not good for you. And he says, oh man, you know, if you have a drink once in a while, you happen to be sitting in the jacuzzi, you could totally have a cigarette, bro. I told him, no, no, I can't. Not after what they've done to me. I hate cigarettes now. I am so mad at them. They were one of the reasons this person's gone. This friend of mine, Tiffany, is gone. She's gone now. And then my cousin just passed away last year at like 51 years old, I think. He was way too young and he used to smoke cigarettes with me. We got to go run away in the backyard during family things. A few years ago, we would go smoke a cigarette and sneak away. We'd be like the little smoking people in the family. He had no idea. He was walking around working with this back pain and he just thought it was from lifting things. One day the back pain was terrible. He goes to the hospital and they say, man, you have cancer in your spine. It went in through your lungs. It's in your brain. And this wonderful human being, he was like the cool guy, just a few years, you know, a little bit older than me, but always talked about music and we would reminisce and he was always smiling and happy and just a joyous entity to have at any gathering. And he's gone because he smoked a lot. And I remember going out to dinner with him on one of the last, the last time I saw him and he went outside during dinner. And like I talked with him on the patio, he was, he had a walker and he was smoking a cigarette. I've told you in my other videos about another friend she's had lung cancer, SCLC, small cell lung cancer. If you ever see a friend or loved one smoking, ask them if they know what SCLC stands for. It's a super rare cancer that only afflicts cigarette smokers. It's incurable. You get one little tiny tumor and they blast the crap out of it with radiation and treatment and you are okay and then you get five more tiny tumors. There's no winning, okay? Small cell lung cancer. Tell your friends, look it up. But I can't go back. My buddy at the bar jokes and says, hey man, you can totally go back and have one cigarette now and then. No, I can't. They killed my cousin. They killed my friend Tiffany. They're killing my friend Terry. And they didn't make me evil, but less of a human being than I wanted to be. I feel stronger now physically than I ever did when I smoked. I feel more solid of mind and I feel free. Those are my freaking thoughts on smoking and being a non-smoker for two years. I hate cigarettes. No, I would never go back. If you still smoke and you watch this, please, for Tiffany's sake, quit. For my cousin's sake, quit. 
That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was emotional and longer than some of my other ones, but I just wanted to put these feelings out there. Maybe it will help one of you guys quit. If you liked this video, found it helpful or informative, go ahead, smash the like button. Feel free to share it with anyone who smokes, a friend of yours if they smoke still. Go ahead and subscribe. I do make videos all the time. This will probably be my last smoking video for a while. But good luck to you out there and just have a wonderful day.